What's wrong, Harris? Everybody's mad at me. Why? I told them their stream sucked. What do you expect? I guess, I guess I just have to tell them how to fix it. Earlier this week, I may have knocked you down a couple pegs and told you everything that was wrong with your stream. Well, I wanted to make it up to you, so in this video, we're gonna talk about five things you can do today to make your stream look professional. The most important thing you can upgrade today is your overlay. It's what brings people in when they're browsing through streams, and when people get to your stream, it's what's gonna make you look professional within the first couple seconds. What you'll wanna do is make a simple design and make sure it's not distracting from the two most important things, the game gameplay and you. You'll want to pick one metric that's most important to you. Make sure you choose a metric that supports you. If you're a partner or an affiliate, choose your most recent sub. If you're in either of those things, choose your most recent follower or bit donator. Hey Kurt, how many subs do you have now? It's really none of your business, bud. I didn't think so. The very next video we make is going to be a start to finish tutorial on exactly how to make a custom overlay. But in the meantime, if you want a professional overlay today, I put a download link in the description to an overlay that I have created that you are welcome to use on your stream. The next most important thing that you can upgrade today is your camera. And while I do recommend getting a good webcam, we here at the Alpha House use a cheap Logitech 1080p camera that has great quality. I'm going to put a link to that in the description as well. More important than the camera is the lighting. If there's one rule to follow, make sure your face is better lit than the room behind you. Here's an example of Kurt with good lighting, now bad lighting, now good lighting, now bad lighting. You picking up what I'm putting down? Everybody knows gaming with lights in your face is a little annoying, but you're here to stream, you're gonna have to get over it. Now audio. Audio can be a little difficult, so I'm gonna give you some tips that you can use today. Wanna to know my trick to getting a good mix on stream? Make a fake Twitch account. I have a private account that nobody follows but me. And anytime I change equipment, I will start up a live stream and I will listen to it. And I will talk and I will listen and make adjustments. And I will talk and shoot at the same time and then I will listen and make adjustments. It's very hard to do that during a live stream on your channel because you're so focused on the game and making an engaging stream. Create a fake Twitch account. Also, if you're really looking to upgrade your audio, what I'm using right here is a mic and mixer combo that I found on Amazon for about 100 bucks. I'll put a link to both in the description. The fourth category was engaging with your stream. And while everyone knows you need to engage with the chat and answer questions, there are some other things that can really make your stream more fun. Use a bot like stream elements. It rewards people with points for staying in your chat longer. You can gamble those points and either win or lose points. You can even challenge other viewers to duels to either win their points or they might take yours. And those points can be redeemed for song requests or follows on Twitter or whatever you want to do. But another one of my favorite things is rewarding people for engaging with you. There's a website that allows you to put tweets that people tweet at you right on your stream. So whenever anyone tweets out your stream link or maybe someone tweets a question at you while you're streaming, it's going to pop up right on the screen wherever you place it. I'll also be making a full in-depth video on how to do that next week. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. Lastly, I mentioned using other social media platforms to expand your viewership and bring in viewers from other areas. One way you can start doing that is encouraging your viewers to clip a portion of your stream. It's really easy, it's just this button in the bottom corner. And then what I do is as soon as I'm done streaming, I go through all the clips done from that day, and if there's anything interesting, I add an outro animation so people know exactly where this clip came from and I post that clip to Twitter and Facebook. Here on the Alpha channel we're going to be putting up two videos a week giving you the best tips and the best step-by-step -step tutorials to make your stream the best it can be. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below on exactly what tutorials you would like to see and maybe we'll do one of yours soon. Happy streaming guys. Peace. Watch him jump on the ledge and get stuck. Oh no, I got it! Shut up! Oh, no. <laughs> Somebody please clip that!